Occasionally in uh, JE Main and uh, Maths Olympiads, you get uh, some rather horrific looking uh, summations. For example, this one here, the sum between r equals 0 and n of 1 over r plus 1 uh, ncr. And to solve them, you need to know all of these formulae uh, that I've written on the right. So first of all, we have uh, n plus 1 c r plus 1 is n plus 1 over r plus 1 ncr. That is a very useful way of converting between ncr and n plus 1 cr. And I actually jumped down to this one as well. This is it written in another format. Sometimes it's uh, useful to have this format, and sometimes it's useful to have this format. But that one, again, converts between n plus 1 cr plus 1 and n plus 1 cr. The two in the middle, ncr equals ncn minus r. Again, that's useful um, for adding coefficients. Uh, ncn equals nc0 equals 1. Um, that one is obviously a must know. And this final one here, uh, that the sum of all of the combinations, nc0 add nc1 add blah 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 add ncn, which is the sum between r equals 0 and n of ncr, is equal to uh, 2 to the n. And that one actually uh, it comes from, well, I mean, it, it, it comes from Pascal's triangle. Um, I'm sure there are better ways of proving it, but uh, if you just add up those, you get 1, 2, 4, uh, 8, 16, etc. Um, so that's why, and also, by the way, that's where this one comes from, um, because obviously NC0 and NCN uh, are always 1. Anyway, so if you know uh, these five absolute, and I put must know, you must know them, if you know them, this is actually extremely simple. Okay, so if we look... At this, we got 1 over r plus 1 times ncr. Now, this is really horrific. This was basically, if we, if we look at a couple of the um, of the terms, well, when r equals 0, but that would be 1 over 1 uh, nc0, add 1 over 2 nc1, add 1 over uh, where are we? 3 nc two etc etc well clearly this is horrific to uh, um, to solve but if we look one over r plus one ncr and we look at this bit here of this formula we basically have one over one ncr and if we move the n plus one down there we can rewrite this as n r equals zero of one over n plus one times n plus one sorry i'm getting confused n plus one c r plus 1. I've just used this formula here. Now, because we are summing over r, we can take 1 over n plus 1 out, because 1 over n plus 1 is a constant, and we're left with 1 over n plus 1 sum between n and r equals 0 of n plus 1 c r plus 1. Okay, now let's have a look at these terms. This is almost, but not quite, this and this is clearly what we have to use in order to sum this but let's actually have a look at these terms so we basically have let's leave the 1 over n n plus 1 out for the moment and we basically then have uh, and I'm going to leave a space here deliberately um, we have add uh, n plus 1 c 1 which is putting r equals 0 in there add n plus 1 c 2 add da, 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 and let's go all the way up to n we have n plus 1 c n plus 1 now and I'm going to leave a little space there this is almost identical to this it's just missing one term if we were to add that one the first term n plus 1 c 0 now clearly if we are going to add it we have to take it away again n plus 1 c 0 but then this bit here is this and so the sum of this bit here, which is n plus 1c0, add n plus 1c1, it's got all the terms all the way to n plus 1c, n plus 1, is simply 2 to the n plus 1. And therefore we have our answer, which is 1 to the n plus 1, 2 to the n, 2 to the n plus 1. We've just got to deal with this one, c, n plus 1, 0. Well, we know that from here, anything where this uh, subscript here is 0 is 1, so equals 1. Okay, so the sum of... That rather horrific thing using one of the using these formulae is actually very simple to get out. One over n plus one, two to the n plus one minus one. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, uh, if you're interested in more, please subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.